When cooled with liquid nitrogen, a piece of superconducting material can levitate above a strip of magnets. This phenomenon is known as quantum levitation and promises to be a breakthrough flight technology for the future. The key to this technology lies in the superconducting material, which has zero electrical resistance when its temperature drops below a critical threshold. When these materials are cooled to a superconducting state, external magnetic fields are entirely expelled from the superconducting material. This is the principle of the Meissner effect. This effect allows the superconducting material to maintain a non-magnetic state, keeping it suspended within the magnetic field. Superconducting materials are divided into two types, type 1 and type 2 superconductors. For type 1 superconductors, the material can levitate if it completely expels external magnetic fields. However, its position and trajectory remain unstable, as it constantly attempts to rise to avoid the external magnetic field lines. For type 2 superconductors, the external magnetic field is not completely expelled. Instead, there is still a very small amount of magnetic flux penetrating the material, and these flux lines appear in the form of particles called quantum vortices. At the locations of these quantum vortices, the superconducting properties are locally disrupted, and any movement of the superconductor in space causes these particles to move as well. To prevent the destruction of the superconducting state throughout the entire material, the superconductor locks itself into a fixed position within three-dimensional space, thereby keeping the position of the magnetic field particles from changing. As a result, the material remains stably suspended in the three-dimensional space. Under ideal conditions, superconducting materials can lift objects up to 70,000 times their own weight. This means that a piece of type 2 superconducting material with a diameter of 3 inches and a thickness of 2 millimeters could lift a 1-ton car. However, the biggest obstacle to applying quantum levitation is finding superconducting materials that can operate at high temperatures. The first discovered superconductor was mercury, which functions at a temperature of just over 4K, around minus 269 degrees Celsius. After many years of effort, the highest temperature superconductor scientists have found so far operates at around 250K, about minus 23 degrees Celsius. Could this be the breakthrough technology of the future? What do you think about this technology?